Hey guys, OJ Albani here, bringing you guys our CGT Week 8 battle against Gravy and his Vancouver Titans. Very solid player. He's obviously having a great season this year, and he has a really fun looking team. I mean, like, out of all the teams, outside of the bottom three, which are Pokemon, I, I, I'm actually not that big of a hater on Eggie. I don't think Eggie's that bad. Um, but those, this course on the Stalin, outside of those, I think he has the coolest looking team and, like, one of the most fun. I love the sand offense. Torrenty's broken. Cinderace is one of my favorite Pokemon to use in draft. It's an awesome team, so go check him out in the description below. He's linked down there with all the other coaches. Um, and you might see a little bit better of a season for us, which, obviously, by the way, if you watched last week's video, spoilers, we are eliminated from playoff contention. It has not been my best season, obviously. Um, and that... There is a level of embarrassment with that. I apologize to you guys. I, I really do think that I'm one of the best coaches in the league, and I, I don't mean that disrespectfully. Um, so my performance this season is not due to, you know, you know XYZ excuse. I just didn't play very good, and I lost a lot of games due to my own mistakes, and it's embarrassing. So I'm not going to take these last two weeks to just kind of mess around. I still want to win, um, and I'm going to do my absolute best to bring you guys some good games to end off the generation. And uh, hopefully go into Generation 9 strong. And uh, this week it kind of starts. We have a pretty terrifying match with, like I said, he has a scary team. Now, before I jump into it, if you guys do enjoy today's video, be sure to drop a like on the vid as well as subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 2,000 subs. I'd really appreciate it a ton. And if you drop a comment and sub as well, you're entered into our giveaway for two uh, for a copy of Scarlet and Violet. We're giving away two copies. And uh, yeah, be sure to uh, do that. Now, that being said. We're going to do a quick little team builder just so you can see what we're bringing while we're bringing it so you have that background knowledge and context going into the battle. Uh, if you do want to skip ahead to the battle, there's a timestamp on the screen and in the description below on when that starts. Alrighty, that being said, let's do it. Our team, if you did forget, is at the top of the screen and it consists of Mew, Dragonite, Thunderous, Toxpex, Cephalon, Crocodile, uh, Klefki, Lucario, Audino, Appleton, and the Shuckle. Now, right off the bat, uh, and then Grace Team, sorry. <laughs> is at the bottom of the team is screen and it consists of Torn T, Excadrill, Cinderace, Buzzwall, Thundee T, uh, Tyranitar, Reuniclus, Tentacruel, Corsola, Stoutland, and the Alolan Executor. Now, biggest threats to me, Torn T, just a regular stall break and Torn T with Knock, U-Turn, Taunt, Hurricane, absolutely does me dirty. My flying resists are not very sturdy, whether it be Klefki or Thunderous. They just don't really really resist flying all too well, especially in conjunction uh, with Hazard, Sandship, and all the other things that terrify me uh, that Torn U-Turns facilitate. So Torn is a big issue for our team. Excadrill is the biggest issue for our team. We do not have a good ground resist or a ground resist is Appleton, which is not coming to this game because it's pretty terrible otherwise into Torn T, Buzzwell, Thundee T, things like that. Um, so I'd rather not get bullied down by all of those things and bring a liability in Appleton. So I have to be very careful around Cinderace. Buzzwell is very good into me offensively and defensively. Thundee T is a menace into me offensively and defensively. Uh, and even defensively, it has good utility. T-Tar. Don't switch into T-Tar very well. So like, and Reuniclus can even just run away with the game or just be like OTR with like Focus Blast, Shadow Ball, Psychic and just rock my shit. So there's a lot of really scary things that I don't feel all too, uh, like I can prepare for them all too well, but I think we have a pretty cool squad that we can uh, you know, run away with this game with, which first up is going to be our Mew. Rocking out the Citrus Berry, synchronizes its ability, Psychic Fangs, Leech Life, Rock Pulse, Sword Stance. Um, this set here is really going to be contingent on Extra Drill dying. Now, I kind of had to choose between fighting or bug coverage to either hit a combination of T-Tar and Reuniclus or T-Tar and Drill. I felt more likely that I would be able to get Drill in a range of a plus two Psychic Fangs than I would be able to chip down um, Reuniclus guaranteed. So I like the Leech Life option. Also lets me set up on Reuniclus a lot easier, whereas I don't really set up on Excadrill. So I think that the Leech Life option is a little bit better here. And if we can get up that Rock Polish and Sword Dance with a little bit of chip on some things, we can go to town, put in some work, and hopefully win the game with Mew here. Next up, we have Klefki rocking out the Lagging Tail. Uh, Prankster as its ability, sorry. Psy Shock, Dazzling Gleam, Spikes, and Switcheroo. Um, pretty interesting to bring Spikes offense versus Drill, Tentacruel, Sand shenanigans, Torn T, but I really do feel like I can kind of turn that to my advantage in the sense that um, Tentacruel, I'm not as worried about. You can see it doesn't really beat us as a spin blocker, as modest Psy Shock does a ridiculous amount to it, right? And then um, something like Drill, while it does spin on me pretty freely, one, it has to risk this Switcheroo, and if I can Switcheroo uh, Drill, that is an amazing trade for me, actually. It, it's a ridiculously good tra trade for me. While I might, uh, you know, not end up with my spikes or anything like that, that thing always moving last is incredible for me, especially considering I'm literally just not bringing a ground resist this week. So 
that's great. Or two, if it's ever in a position where Drill has to choose between attacking and basically getting a free KO on something, or spinning away spikes for the rest of the team, uh, it's going to be kind of hard pressed to uh, decide whether or not it wants to do so. So I think uh, the spikes can actually put me in an advantage in the sense that Drill is going to be very pressured and um, put in some uncomfortable spots for me. Uh, but yeah, Switcher is great for things like Torn as well. Buzzwell, Thundee, uh, can't trick the T-Tar, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of different things like that. It can be pretty beneficial. And um, yeah, that is going to be Klefki this week. Next up, we have our Dragonite. Once again, Choice Band, my favorite set with Outrage, Extreme Speed, Aqua Jet, and Dual Wing Beat. You see, there is no Fairy type on Jack's team, and his Dragon Resist is Excadrill, which takes a clean 60 plus percent from an Outrage. Like, very easily gets to it KO'd by Outrage. And this is kind of um, an idea that kind of ties in with Klefki in the sense that if you want to switch in, you know, his drill, and say I've taken rocks and sand, things like that, and I'm in range of Rock Slide or Life of Rock Slide or Iron Head or something like that. He has to kind of choose between spinning or getting to it KO'd by Outrage. And Outrage is just an automatic kill on pretty much everything else on his team, minus maybe a Buzzwell, but I don't envision that being too much of an issue when it comes to switching into Dragonite, and it definitely does get to it KO'd, especially after a spike. Um, so I think the Offensive D-Knight um, with its ban can really put us in a pretty advantageous spot. Then we have other niche uh, moves like Extreme Speed to pick off things like Weekend Torn, um, Cinderace, Thundee that's, uh, Thundee that's not set up, just Thundee in general. As well as Aqua Jet for things like the Extra Drill especially, but maybe something like a Cinderace or something like that. Just does a little bit more damage uh, in case we're in range of a Pyro Ball. Um, or even like a dd up T-Tar and it's at like, you know, plus two and I have no way of killing it. That's a great way to revenge it. And the Dual Wing Beat is for um, nice, like, you know, reliable damage and Okos on things like Buzzwool um, and like Cinderace. Uh, reliable damage into a KO on Reuniclus and Tentacle and things like that to where I don't have to walk in Outrage if I don't absolutely need to. But I really expect myself to kind of just click Outrage this game. Next up, we have our Crocodile. It's going to be our Rocker. We're going to have the Extra Belt, Knock Off Earthquake, Aerial Ace, um, and Stealth Rock. Does really well offensively this game, and especially forcing a Knock. Knock, Spike, and Sand basically almost puts a Buzzwell in range of our Aerial Ace. Um, so that's obviously very advantageous for us. And otherwise, it doesn't really switch into our dual stabs very well at all. Um, it's a very reliable Rocker and can get those up. So Rocks with Sykes, again, hopefully chipping down the opposing team and putting us in a pretty good spot. And then the Intim Pivot is also incredible for us to, um, you know, slow down things like Excadrill, Cinderace, because we're not bringing uh, Tox Specs if Cinderace doesn't end up coming. Not too convinced it will, though, because I think we actually have a lot for Cinderace on our team between D-Knight, Tox Specs, and even Fat Muse. So, yeah. Next up, we have our Odno. Rock it out with the Eject button, Regen as its ability, Knock Off Wish, Encore, and Toxic. Pretty simple stuff. It's just a nice spidef pivot to lock things into, um, like Nasty Plot on the Torn, or pass a Wish out into our Crocodile and things like that. Um, eject Button is a great tool as well to pivot into something like the Torn, take a hit, and then get into something that can offensively pressure it, especially because I don't have good switch ins. Maybe even a Cinderace, we can do that just because of our natural bolt. And then Encore is also a great tool for Reuniclus if Reuniclus starts setting up. Um, that can be really scary, obviously, depending on what its set is and what's still alive at the time, so. I want to make sure I can do that and also prevent Thundee setup um, or even in a pinch Buzzwell and T-Tar setup. So yeah, that's going to be Odno this uh, this game right here. And then lastly, we have our Thunderous rocking out the Heavy Dew Boots. Prankster has its ability, Thunderbolt, Nasty Bolt, Focus Blast, and Roleplay. Um, Roleplay is supposed to be a Psychic type move. I accidentally messed up in the graphic. My bad. <laughs> I thought it was a Dark type move for some reason. Uh, but yeah, Roleplay here is a pretty neat tech. If you look at our opponent's team, Nothing really switches into the combination of Thunderbolt plus Focus Blast outside of Thundee, but something that Roleplay actually allows us to do is take its Volt Absorb away from it and give it to us, make it to our Thundee. Can't really hit us very well, and I don't really expect Sludge Wave to come um, in preparation for Appleton. I think there are better coverage moves into my team, so I'm not super convinced that that will end up coming. I think even something like a Dark Pulse is more likely, just because like Volt Switches or U-Turns into Appleton put him in such a good spot anyways. There's no reason to ever predict and click Sludge Wave. Maybe if he's Nasty Plot, but again. I really do doubt that, and if it's like a Grass Knot or Focus Blast set, we can really, really beat that thing down. Um, and once we get up a plus two Nasty Plot, if it's not bulky, we do two it KO with that. Uh, roleplay is also really advantageous for things like Thundee, uh, or Thundee, it is valuable for Thundee, but things like Torm, where you can steal its regen, things like Exodrill stealing its um, Sand Rush, things like Buzzle stealing its Beast Boost. Um, a bunch of different options like that, allowing us to potentially run away with the game of Thundee. It's also bulky enough to take a hit from pretty much everything on the team minus T-Tar. And if we chip that thing down and range of Focus Blast, we shouldn't have to take a hit from it anyways. But yeah, that is going to be the team, I believe. Yep. Let's uh, go ahead and jump right into the battle. Alrighty, guys. Here we are with the battle. We are connected with Mr. Gravy. 
Let's see what he ended up bringing. Do I have my team in the calc? I do. I need to pull up something to write down his team. I'm also going to be eating in true Owen fashion. Um, we're out of playoffs, so like this doesn't matter too much. Uh, we see no tentacruel, which is nice. That means less spinny spin. Um, we have things like Tyrant Tatar, Excadrill, Tornadus. Why are all of his Pokemon broken, by the way? <laughs> Every Pokemon's like, ah, this thing's 27 points. I don't like it. I have an Audino and a Klefki. Um, Buzzwall and Reuniclus. Alright. Here comes the Klefki. I am the Klefki man. Um, reason being is because I feel like I can spin pretty freely, and if he wants to go drill to try and spin them away, I will lag and tail that thing, as my ground resist is Audino. Um, so that'll be nice. But yeah, good luck of fun to Jack. Um, like I said, I am going to be eating. Gotta mix up. I got loaded baked potato soup and some like toasted French bread to dip in it. First bite, you ready? Oh, there's a little bit of bacon in this guy too. Chef's kiss. I saw on Twitter today. Someone say baked spaghetti and they made baked spaghetti and it wasn't even on the fucked up foods page. Like the one that's supposed to be gross. And everybody's like, damn, baked, ma baked spaghetti is the truth. And it made me so upset. <laughs> like as an Italian man, someone was like, we put our spaghetti in the oven. Yep, rock. Oh, that's my custom shiny Tyranitar. That's funny. Oh, I'm not spiky. Um, he doesn't kill me with EQ unless he's like banned. I'm okay with that. He is Sandstream. No, unnerved Titar. Uh, we are going to spiky. And then I'll hard out into Crocodile. So we are going to spike. Hit a stand. Earthquake. Do you see Stealth Rock? That's fine. I don't really have a way of preventing those <laughs> on this team. So that's fine. And then from here, I am going to go into Crocodile. Pretty freely. I mean, he could like body press, but I'll chew it. Especially after an Intim. And one spike is better than two. And three spike is better than one. The model we live by. Body press would be some demon shit. But I think we still live. Superpower would be some demon shit, but I think we still live. Quick, quick. Ooh, that is nothing. That's like no investment. Um, I just knock off for free here. I'll have a body press from here too if he is that. Um, pretty freely. Crook into Buzzwall. 50. How much do I do with Aerial Ace? So, like, we should be in a pretty okay spot here. Like, knocking to Aerial Ace should do honestly ample enough, right? We do 57 min to, like, that's not max HP. Let's look at max HP Buzzwall. We do 13 with knockoff. Young Mustard comes out. He is going to switch in. He is going to take a spike. He's going to get knocked off. He's going to lose his choice scarf. And he is going to be buffeted by helm, uh, sand. So 12 plus 6 is 18. Math? Not in range is my math. Um, unless he's more offensive, then I, in theory, could hit him with it. But I don't think I will. Hmm. The only issue is I don't really switch in super well to this thing, right? But I do like the Intim. So I think I am going to pivot into Klefki. Yeah, we're going to pivot Klefki. And deal with him accordingly. I he does lose life. That's fine. We'll get a little bit of health back. Um, and then from here, do I want a dazzling gleam? 
I think it'd be like max attack. Earthquake. Left key. Earthquake, it does do 134 min. So I think it's in my best interest to just spike if he's going to stay in, right? Like, I think it's just in my best interest to spike if he's going to stay in. He's going to stay in. So we got two spikes up, which is nice. That's Earthquake. Um, that's Adam Buzzwell, by the way. So we could live if he's not adamant, but he is, it looks like, maybe. Um, Klefki's gonna die. And also, God, that's fine. Now, from here, where do I want to go? I could go Thundrous. Um... Thunder seems kind of pog. I could also go D-Knight and click that Outrage that we were thinking about. I don't know if I kill from here, though. Dragonite. Outrage. I don't think I do. Unless he, if he's max HP. And Thunder's T-Bolt does. However, keeping Thunder's healthy is really nice as well. I think I am going to go to the Because he could also just like not be banded, you know? Or not be max HP and die to this. Um, I think I'm going to outrage. Because it should also force him out, potentially. Into something like T-Tar. Which gets to it KZ'd. And that means no more sand for the entirety of the game, if he does make that play. So, I'm pretty comfortable going Outrage, forcing this, especially with two spikes up, he is not going to appreciate it. That's what we'll do. And we'll see where we can go from here. He's gonna withdraw him, which is this means this is a KO. Ah. Bye bye. So we're gonna outrage, and Sand's gonna be gone. I'm pretty sure we're gonna do it, Kale. Perfect. So bye bye, Sand. I didn't see your item ever, by the way. So I see VGC talk. We're just gonna click protect right now. Bart told me he's been bringing that a lot this season. But I haven't really scouted his stuff. Let's see though, he, he is forced to give me something right now. An Excadrill after two spikes takes a ridiculous amount of damage, by the way. Especially if we get the three turn outrage to guarantee get off that outrage. Mwah. Amazing. This is uh, just pretty nice so far. We're gonna outrage. We knock out the T-Tar. Cool. Now, whatever comes in, if it's not drill, it dies. We get the two-turn. It's just kind of unfortunate. Dragonite. Um, I'm not in multi-scale anymore. Let's see, 99. Um, he can kill me with, like, from 105. He has a 25% chance to KO. And after two spikes, I do, like, a lot of damage. Um, now, is it worth keeping this, though? I think getting this damage off is super clutch from a Mew, though. So, I'm an Outrage. You can also miss Rock Slide. Yeah, he's gonna choose to Rapid Spin, which is really nice for me. Oh my god, be Life Orb? That did so much damage? Yeah. Good night. Wait, I think he dies. Just hit. 
Let's go. So we punished the rapid spin, which was like the main point of my, my good pal here. He's going to have to kill me here. Um, or lose his Excadrill. Miss. Damn. Oh, we've been fine. <laughs> so. He was kind of forced in a weird spot there. Alright, so from here. I think I am going to go on Dino. And I am going to wish in case he doesn't attack me, but uh, we're going to pop our eject button here so nothing else has to take damage. Which, in my opinion, is very important. Uh, we'll wish just in case, but like, he should just attack us. That is a lot of damage. But we do get out of there. Which is nice. And he's gonna die. Maybe I could have gone thunderous and pivoted on Dino. That was actually probably my better play, but I... Utar and Drill being gone is so nice for me. We're gonna go into our thunder here. Because if he goes thunder, I can roleplay him. A little bit of roleplay going. No more sand is nice. Like, at all. Don't have to worry about the ship. So. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. Pat my cheeks. Sir? What's in here, buddy? I'm you, but stronger. I personally really hope that he's not... Um, yeah, let's go. So we role play, we take that away. I'm gonna nasty plot here. And kind of hope that plus two to it KOs him. He's going to switch into a monk plus. Um, we get just Thunderbolt here. I don't want stopping us, right? Cool. That could have been bad if he nasty plotted, but like he didn't. <laughs> Let's go. Now we are nasty plotted up. Um, I'm really hoping plus two thunder is two at chaos plus two or neutral thunders. Sorry, I'll be eating soup. Thunder is there in. Oh, I actually do two at chaos. Go. Throw a thunderbolt here. Psychic. Not a two at chaos. We will Thunderbolt again. Now, he could be regen and switch, but like, into what? You know? I'm okay with him going into Thundy. Uh, Thundy T. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for the thumbnail to be like Thundy T, Thundy I something. I don't know. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> Down that goes. Out comes opposing Thundee, which means he may be choiced. We're going to Dark Pulse. Focus Blast. Oh, yeah. I sure do love missing. Um, I'm gonna go into my Audino, because I can potentially stop a Choice Thundee later.
The stones, they're sticking him. Um. What's in my better interest? Is it to... Uh, no, nah, I think it's a toxic. I'm not toxic. He's gonna withdraw. Into what? Horn down for what? Bam, 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 bam. Uh, we'll see if he's taunt here, too. We do toxic. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And from here... Hey, buddy, I'm recording right now. <laughs> and then we'll encore in case he's nasty plot. Because that's not allowed. He knocked me off and crits me. Others. Okay. So, I think it's in my best interest to go Mew. And we're gonna try and Swords Dance. Even if he's offensive, I'm pretty sure we avoided two at KO because of our Citrus Berry. So we're gonna Swords Dance here. He's gonna Taunt. It's fine. I just Psychic Fangs for ridiculous damage right now. So he's Taunt. He's like Stallbreaker Torn. Um, now he can U-turn here, but he doesn't have a Psychic Fang switching. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. He's gonna U-turn. Unfortunately, we are not weakness, Mickey. So we will Sukike fans. Fangs. Fangs. He should go Buzzwool. Like, if I dribble actually here, your Dundee dies. So. You should go Buzzwool and give me a KO. Now, does Dark Wolf kill me? The range in which I'm at. Because I'm decently bulky. Dude, if I was actually at one! 107. It's a roll. It's my favor. Thunderbolt does not kill me. How bad am I throwing? Can I rock polish yet? Nope. <laughs> what if I could and that was the wrong play? Yeah, I think I'm gonna psychic things. And the bolt. Should get up. Here. 92. I need a Therian formation. He's defensive. Does he heal me? I wonder I wonder if my uh, thing ends too. He doesn't kill me. I shake off taunt. I'm gonna rock polish. In case he throws, because I win. You know, you turn. Cool. So once I rock polish up, I should be faster than Scarf Fundy. So, that's nice. He has to go back into Torrent and hit a hurricane, I'm pretty sure. So we rock polish up. And then we psychic fangs. This should knock out the thund the thundy. 
based on the roll we did before. Unless I get min-maxed. Oh yeah, we do, baby. Of course, let's go! Augers. Um, yeah, I think we lose them. Yeah, I think we lose them. We're gonna try and crook. Um, I think he's Scarf. I have to play as if he's Scarf. So therefore, I'm going to Rocks up here. Because it'll kill the Thundee on the switch in, which is important. Does Torn knock out my Thundee? Where it's at with knockoff. I think he is 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 46 is macro. So we're gonna get up our rocks. He should go. He goes torn. So we get up our rocks. What is my Thundee? Or my Thundee at? I think that's important to know. Thirty-six. So I do die to a knockoff. Um, <laughs> uh, that's not good. Um, I think I just have to knock off here and hope for the best. You turn. Um, I can put the game up to a hurricane, I think. Potentially. Now you should always sack off Thundee. I think I do lose though. I think I do lose. I did not think Scarf Thundee would come. That was not something that was in the uh, in the cards in my mind. Um, so this thing's gonna die. We might lose 2-0, maybe 1-0. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Unless. Hmm. Hey, this guy comes out. I have to kill him with Aerial Ace. I still think it might be a wrap, but we're gonna try. <laughs> we're gonna try. Should we do Aerial Ace? We are Expert Belt, by the way, so like... Oh my gosh, it didn't die. Cool. Oh, he roosted. For what? Again. Why were you Scarf Roost? Fuck. I guess, like, trying to deal with Crook? I don't know. Cool, you got Punish. Let's go. Um. Now, I think what I have to do is I have to put the game up to Hurricanes. I don't think I can, though. I think I do lose. I'm gonna go Thundee. Yeah, I think I lose. Um, but it was a fun game. I think it was a fun, interesting team that we used. Um, I'm pretty sure we lose, though. He's going to U-turn. So, now if he throws, right, and he goes for Hurricane for some reason, what's my best play? It's Thunderbolting still. It's for sure Thunderbolting, because if he throws and goes for Hurricane for some reason, then I kill him. So that's what we're gonna go for, but he's not going to. Yeah, he's just gonna knock. Um, like I could have role played, but I died anyways. So I like playing for him choking, going like, yeah. Um. Yeah. So now we need to crit. I think, if anything. If I crit, knock off, not crit, at least. Crit, knock off. I do win. If we do intimidate this thing, you turn kill us now. He needs an absolute. There's a couple rolls that kill us. Let's see what the chance is. We have time. <laughs> um, it's 31% chance to Oko with um U turn, so we take that roll, roll obviously. Um, and we're gonna knock and hope for a crit. If we get a crit, we win. And I would love it. Come on, throwing it up. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me, baby. He's counting to see what, what's more, like, optimal, I guess. Um, 
I guess missing Hurricane would be really bad for him though too. If he misses two Hurricanes, I also win. Miss, miss. Who fucking ah! I don't get any luck. These other guys, they get all the luck. Um, but yeah, we're gonna lose. Um, what can you say? <laughs> I just needed to miss one Hurricane then I think, and uh, or two Hurricanes, and I was in a pretty good spot. But um, yeah, we lose one out. Whatever. Um, it's a dead season anyways. I'm ready for the shit to be over. To be completely honest, but hey, what can you do? Um, it's Pokemon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.